Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to Pre-Market Report, sponsored by TaxBetty.com, a leading tax filing portal in India. First, let us look at the U.S. markets. And U.S. markets shot up on Friday, on top of which yesterday also it shot up. But in the afternoon, there was a severe selling, and that severe selling in the afternoon brought both Dow Jones and S&P 500 to negative territory. I would say S&P 500 is almost flat. A Dow fell about 100 point plus and Nasdaq closed higher. Uh, why Nasdaq closed higher? That's because, you know, uh, there is some buying in beaten down IT stocks as well as uh, Tesla shot up nearly 6%. Tesla, you know, it's usually a high beta stock. So despite the disappointing close in the US, uh, Asian markets seems to be good. So most of the markets in Asia are higher and Hong Kong is down slightly, but that is about a flat line only. But in the recently, uh, Hong Kong market shot up so much. And uh, so most of the major markets like Japan, uh, South Korea, so they're all trading higher. So now we can say not only the US market, so Asian market also mixed. And if you are looking at the SGX Nifty, uh, yesterday night I've seen it was trading uh, about 100 point plus. Uh, but right now that is almost trading flat only. Uh, in fact, flat with uh, I can say negative bias. So the point here is that, you know, uh, even after this uh, slightly negative closing in US markets and all the markets, all the major markets in the world are for the year 2023, they are in positive. And we tried to move yesterday, uh, yesterday during the time afternoon, uh, we were actually positive for the year. But, you know, we came down, uh, some selling happened, we came down, so we closed lower. And today we are again opening flat only. So it will be interesting to see how TCS is going to react to its results. And uh, like media reports say, you know, some say it's a good result, some say it's bad result, you know. So I think the results are not uh, really too bad. But yesterday it closed 3% higher. So whether that will be sustained or not. And uh, a flat opening, I will be making some money. And, uh, you know, if it goes down, I will not lose any money. But if they, if it shoots up like 4 5%, then only there will be some losses in my uh, strategy. So for those who did not see my post-market report yesterday, I'll tell you, I bought 3260 call option and I sold 3400 call option three times. So let us see how that uh, strategy performs today. So during the last five trading session, uh, despite yesterday's fall in S&P 500 and Dow, uh, for the last five trading session, so they ended in green. The past data shows that as and when US markets closed in green during the first five trading sessions, uh, there are about 85% chances the markets will rally. So markets would have given about 14% return on an average during the year. So that is what I've also been saying. The first two weeks is very, very important. If first two weeks are positive, then we can hope the year to be positive. Uh, but this FA is selling, uh, that to continue selling. Uh, even yesterday, it was a euphoric day for most of the markets. Even yesterday also, FAs have sold, but they have sold for less quantity, but still they have sold. So for next one or two weeks, we have to continue to monitor this FA selling. And uh, so probably they were, not, uh, they were not expecting good results, but now during the one, next one week, so there'll be a lot of results will be coming, key results like TCS, Infosys, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank. So even after this, if they continue to sell, then, you know, so there may be 
uh, we can assume that there may be some structural problem with FIIs. So for today, uh, market is opening flat and but surely today market will be uh, volatile because now I think more and more traders are switching to fin nifty expiry uh, but even then I am not doing anything so even if I do it I just do it very very little volume like 5 lots 10 lots but otherwise usually I don't trade in fin nifty and uh, as more and more volume picks up in fin nifty you know so the volatility will kick in so Tuesday volatility will be there given the fact that uh, yesterday it was a big candle uh, we can expect today's candle to be an inside candle of yesterday so which means that uh, today's uh, you know today it's not likely to break uh, previous day's low and today it's not likely to break yesterday's high so looking at it you know uh, I'm talking about the spot, not the future. Spot, I once again, uh, the resistance will be around the last time a swing peak of 18,265. So, as I told you earlier, so we will continue to trade between 17,750 on the downside and 18,265 on the upside. So, this is the range in which markets are trading for the last two weeks. So, one of the levels on either direction, either 18.265 on the upside or 17.750 downside will have to be taken out uh, for the market to move further in that direction. So, let us hope sooner or later it takes out on the higher side and then we can expect market to head towards 18,500 and then you know it will be a, a question of 18,000 to 18,500 uh, the range in which it was trading in the month of November and then the next target will be 18,900. So today no need to say uh, the stock to watch is um, TCS and because of TCS uh, other IT stocks will also be impacted. So hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.